This thread here on Twitter has almost 1.5 million views. It started pretty recently on April 10th, 2023. On one hand, I'm still surprised how many views some of these things get about Depp and Heard. But on the other hand, I try to explain it's something that's just going to be studied forever. And it's not just going to go away like some people think it's over. If you look at Star Wars, that franchise is still being talked about how it's been politically infiltrated and things like that. But I digress. So this here is by Amber fans pointing out all the people on Johnny's side. And I guess the implication is, let's not support these celebrities. Let's know who the bad ones are, because they support Johnny, that kind of thing. And I missed quite a few, by the way. I'll try to mention at the end. But there were so many, you can't mention all of them. But let's see the main ones they get into. They start off with Chris Rock and Callie Uchis, if that's how you say that name. I've never heard of her, but thank you for supporting Johnny. Chris Rock, of course, said this. Believe all women except Amber Heard, which is a pretty controversial yet very interesting thank you, Chris. Thank you, Amber Heard fans, for reminding us about that. Taiki Watiti. Now, this guy's a director, Marvel movies, rumored to make a Star Wars movie, pretty big in Hollywood, and he liked one of Johnny's posts. So I don't like the guy so much as far as his creativeness, but I gotta say... In reality, what's right is right, so thank you for supporting Johnny. Evergreen, actress, okay, kind of a cool name there, like an evergreen video or something like that, if you know the term. Okay, let's keep going. And here we could see Tiki Watati's like on Johnny's Instagram, which was liked by 4.7 million others. And Eva Green's article, I have no doubt he'll emerge with his good name. Obviously, about Johnny Depp. So, yeah, thank you, Eva Green. Dove Cameron, a singer I also don't know. Didn't know she supported Johnny. But she's got 86,000 views there from these Amber fans getting triggered about it. But thank you, Dove. And, of course, Bill Burr, who was very, very vocal about supporting Johnny. Bill Burr says Amber Heard should apologize publicly to Johnny Depp. Yeah, that's a uh, pretty fair take, I think. Comedian sides with Depp in defamation trial. And he's pretty funny, by the way. Helena Boham. She was from Fight Club, I remember her. A lot of other movies too, but Fight Club stands out for me. So thank you on that one for her. And J.K. Rowling. Obviously, we know she casted Johnny in Fantastic Beasts. I think she's very based. Not with everything, but with a lot of things. So thank you, Miss J.K. It's horrendous. Helena Boham Carter defends J.K. Rowling and Johnny Depp. Speaking in an interview with the Times, Carter said she felt that Rowling had been hounded for her opinions and the actor had been completely vindicated. All right, good opinion on that one too. Got a little double there that I agree with. And Florence Pug. I remember this one. Can't say I know her very well, but thank you, Florence. And then Amber Heard Archive lists some more. Bella Haddad, Gemma Chan, Emma Roberts, Zoe Saldana, Holly Berry, Bella and Harry have unlike since in parentheses. I'm not on that unliked boat. I mean, some people say this person unliked, that person unliked. Maybe I'm behind in the times, but I don't see how you find out who unliked. Maybe you could go see what they liked and what they didn't like. It's not there anymore. I mean, if 4 million people liked it, Almost 5 million people that unlike would be kind of hard to find. But I guess there's a way. I guess I'm just getting old with this Instagram stuff. But okay, maybe the unliked. But I'd have to fact check that. Okay, so she lists some here that she missed as far as putting up their photos. Robert Downey Jr., Zoe again. Diana Silvers, Orlando Bloom, which we knew made a video on him. So thank you, Orlando. Josh Brolin and Dylan Sprayberry. That's an interesting last name. Nicholas Braun, actor from Succession, and Andy McDowell, also an actress. And these tweets have got a lot of views, even going down the thread, generally over 50,000 views on each. Drew Afalo, TikToker, Jojo Siwa, dancer, all right, thank you. Whitney Cummings, comedian, Kat Dennings, actress, looks like Kat made a little bit of a spoof on Elaine Brennanhoff, Amber's... I guess former lawyer, not anymore, I don't think. Jamie Lee Curtis, that was a big one. Thank you, Jamie. 
Jamie Lynn Spears, Britney Spears' sister, who liked this. The Oscar for Best Actor in a Supporting Role goes to Amber's Lil Tissue. Okay. So yeah, I would guess probably Britney Spears is also Justice for Johnny. But I can't quite recall. No proof offhand. Just my guess. Island Baldwin? Okay, well, Alec had his little controversy there we all know about. But this is unrelated, so okay, I'll take it. Jeremy Rayner, who is very big in the news right now. He had an unfortunate accident. But I think he's a good actor. And thank you, Jeremy, for supporting Johnny. Ali and AJ, Pop Duel, Gemma Chan, Actress. She's got these all down. The list keeps going and going. Sia, Singer, I remember that. Donatella, Fashion Designer, didn't know about that. But thank you for supporting Johnny. Steve Harvey, TV Host, Ellie King, Singer, both new to me. But thank you, guys. And she posts something that Rowling said. Rowling shared that she understands not all fans will agree with her decision, but she believes it's the right choice. I've loved writing the first two screenplays, and I can't wait for fans to see The Crimes of Grindelwald. I accept there will be those who are not satisfied with our choice of acting in the title role, she wrote. However, conscience isn't governable by committee. Within the fictional world and outside it, we have to do what we believe to be the right thing. And a lot of us, JK, believe that was the right thing. So thanks to the movie. Not my favorite franchise and everything, but I wish you the best on it. And the list keeps going. These are not big names, except for PewDiePie I see there, who at one time was the biggest YouTuber ever with over 100 million subs, and now I think like the second biggest ever, which is pretty damn good since there are like 11 million monetized channels, plus all the other ones that aren't monetized. This person obviously didn't mention Johnny's exes, Maybe they thought it was just a given that, of course, they'd support Johnny, so they didn't count or something. But if you could add to this list, drop me a comment. Let me know what this person missed, what I missed. I'm sure there's probably a few more, but they did their best. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. And if you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.